Hey everybody, welcome to Doll Faces. Happy Sunday. Today I am bringing you the full face bundle. You guys, this is for my ladies who are like, Shannon, I don't want too many steps. I want to keep it easy. I want to keep it to a minimum. I just want something quick and something easy with the least amount of products. I have you covered. This bundle is for you. This bundle is screaming your name and you need it in your life because I'm telling you what, it doesn't get any easier than this. So here's what's in the Fast Face Bundle. And I love this bundle. I think it's amazing, amazing bundle. So you're gonna get to choose between the color correcting um, balm right here or the beauty balm. So you'll get to pick one of these depending on you know, where your concerns are. This one is a color control. So if you have like a little bit of redness, it's going to kind of even out that skin tone, calm it down a little. To me, I feel like this has a little bit more uh, coverage than the Beauty Balm. This one right here is kind of like a blemish balm, a Beauty Balm. It's more moisturizing. It's a little bit lighter weight. It's more dewy. Whereas this one's a little bit heavier than this one, a little bit fuller coverage. And they both are amazing. This is my go-to. I wear this every single day. Some girls will use these and then put a foundation on top. It's not necessary. You don't need to unless you really want to. I use this by itself and it looks amazing on my skin. So you're going to get to choose one of those. You're also going to get one of our liquid concealers, which I am obsessed with these, you guys. They um, perform beautifully. I am 51, so I have a little more texture than the average bear. I have a few more lines and wrinkles. So this to me is a great product because it doesn't settle in there and get cakey and it looks beautiful on my skin. So you're gonna get to choose this concealer in whatever color, whatever shade you need. I love that concealer. And then, all right, try not to pay attention. I dropped this, it's a little bit broken, but it still works beautifully. I love, love, love this trio palette. So you have a blush, a highlighter, a contour color. See, you can see I just dropped it. I should have cleaned it up a little bit. I'm sorry. Anyways, it's a beautiful palette. I'm going to show you how you can use this to do your like whole face. And, and it doesn't get any easier. This doesn't get any easier than this. You're going to get a Zen mascara. This mascara was one of the first mascaras I ever tried with Pharmacy and I fell in love with it. Check out that wand. It has all those tiny bristles in there. This is going to give you some mad lengths to your lashes. This is a great, great mascara. So you're going to get that and you're going to get your choice of a liquid lipstick or if you want to do a gloss, if you're more of a gloss person, you can do a gloss. Okay, so let me show you how we're going to work uh, with all these products, okay? It's super easy, you guys, and I absolutely love that I can get my makeup on and it's quick and easy. And I know that's what a lot of you women really, really want. It's gonna take me longer to find the right brushes than it is to actually do my face because everything's, we're moving, everything's completely unorganized in my life right now, so just bear with me. And my brushes probably are not very clean, but we're gonna roll with it anyway. All right, so I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, you guys, and I'm gonna start with the Face Trio palette. This thing is fantastic because literally, you can use it as shadow, you can use it for contour, you can use it for blush, highlighter, bam, you're out the door, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with that dark color right here, and I'm gonna use it on my crease, all right? So for me, I'm gonna go just this little tiniest bit above. You know, that's what I do because I have a little bit of a heavier eyelid, and I'm gonna take it all the way over. Okay, back and forth all the way over. And you're going to love how easy these products can work together. And I'm going to take it kind of in onto the lid as well. Okay, so up in the crease, kind of in like a circle motion like that. And then I'm going to go dip into the pink here in a minute. I'm going to show you where we're going to put that. I'm going to take this dark bronzy color underneath the eye as well. I'm looking at my eye, I have a little something right there. I don't know what that is. Hmm, maybe like, you know how some people get oil, those little oil packets? I don't know if that's what that is. Anyhow, now I'm gonna take the same color and I'm gonna just take it under my eye, just to add a little bit of color. So this is for my girls who are like, you know, I don't wanna do that whole Instagram, YouTube, uh, makeup guru thing. I want it to be quick, I want it to be easy. I wanna get in and out 
as quick as I can, but still look like maybe I put a little tiny bit of effort into my face, right? So take the brown underneath. You can go back and forth as much as you want. And you don't have to be neat here because notice I'm doing my eyes before I'm doing my face. So just make sure that you're blending, blending it out, okay? So if you're gonna put it on there, just make sure that you take it and blend it up into the lid, okay? Just so it's not, there's no harsh lines. Now, I'm gonna grab another brush. You can use the same brush if you want. Watch, I'll just use the same brush so I can show you that you can just use one brush, okay? Now we're gonna go into the pink, same brush. I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna like put it over here toward that outer corner. See how I did that? I'm gonna take it and kind of just put it into that outer corner and kind of into the crease area, just like that. You see that? It's giving my, my uh, lid just a little bit of color, a little bit, just like that. And I'm gonna blend it. We're gonna do this all with one brush, which I know if anybody that is a makeup guru is watching me, they're like, oh, she's using one brush. Oh my God, it's okay, relax. This is not brain surgery. Let's use the same brush. We're gonna go into the highlighter color now, that one. We're gonna take it, same brush, same brush, and I'm just gonna pat it though. Just pat it. I'm not gonna swipe it. I'm just patting it into that part of my lid, the front part of my lid, just like that. Okay, same thing. Pat it, front part. This is for my girls that are like, yep, I need to hurry up and get ready. I don't have all day. I don't wanna do liner. I don't wanna do all the things. I just wanna look okay and fresh and like I care a little bit, but not spend all day in my bathroom. Okay, now look, eyes are done, done. I know you're like, wait, what? No, they're not. Well, for shadow purposes, we're done. We're gonna take a makeup wipe. I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and I'm gonna clean up underneath. I'm gonna clean, we're keeping it simple, remember? This is simple makeup. We're gonna just clean it up, clean up the side, be really gentle here, clean up under your eye. And if you do your you know, foundation first, that's fine. There's no hard and fast rules, you do you. Now, the other thing that you could add on to your bundle, which for me, I think it's important, but some people are just like, I don't want that extra step. A face primer is always like important. However, I understand that some people just don't wanna do the extra step, but it really does make a difference before you apply your foundation. So this is the matte one and this is the strobe primer. I can add that into your bundle if you want that extra step in, okay? So now I'm gonna take my BB cream. I use medium to dark, which is probably, honestly, it might be getting, might be getting a little bit too, um, it might be a little bit too dark for me right now because it being um, winter and all. I'm gonna take the pharmacy foundation brush, take a beauty blender, your ph pharmacy brush or whatever brush you have. I'm gonna start towards more the center of my face and work my way out because that's kind of where I want the most product and I kind of want it to just fade out to the sides there. You don't have to get all the way too close up under your eye. Just make sure as you're doing this, because we're gonna use some concealer there. Make sure you're bringing this down into your neck, okay? Down into your neck and blending it out. Now you don't need a whole lot. My face is a bit drier than normal, so I'm gonna probably have to add just a skinch more, maybe a little drop more. But I really love how it performs. Look at just that little bit and my skin looks really, really good, really flawless. But a lot of that has to do with really good skincare too. So that's a really important part of your routine is to get, if you don't have a skincare routine, like it's super important that you get one and you're consistent with it because really it's just like anything. If you're consistent, it's going to pay off just like with exercise or, or healthy eating or any of those things, taking good care of your skin is going to make your makeup look that much better. It's gonna go on better, it's gonna look better, you're gonna feel better by taking good care of your skin, okay? And we have pretty much something for everyone. All right, I'm just gonna go here. Now, you can dab over this with a uh, beauty blender if you want to blend it out good. I don't think I need to do that, we're just gonna keep moving. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our concealer. All right, wait, this one is, I'm almost out. Hold on, let me grab a new one. Oh, do I have a new one handy? Please say, I do. 
Yep, right here. Okay. Whew. I go through this stuff. I love the concealer. Okay, so now I'm going to take, my shade is Warm Honey. I'm going to take a little bit of the Warm Honey, and it has this little doe foot applicator, really nice applicator. A little bit goes a long way. Just need a little bit, okay? This is for my easy girls. Just a little bit. We don't have to go cuckoo crazy. And maybe just a little bit right there, a little bit right there, just a little bit. Okay, now you're gonna take a brush, a blending brush, and I know I have mine right here. I just have to grab it. Um, one second, loves. So I have a flat brush like this one that I like to use with my concealer, so I'll put it, see I'll use that flat side of the brush and kind of pull it down and go right underneath my eye right there and blend it down into the face, take that part up, and under the eye and as I do it I'm gonna blend it out right after I do that just blend it down into the face okay just like so and it's just gonna brighten up under my eye and I'm gonna do the same thing over here flat part of the brush pull it down and now the tip of the brush and pull it over and up and then when I pull it down into the face I sort of use the flat side of the brush like so Okay, just like that. And now I'll just blend it out. And this is a really nice color. I don't like to go too much lighter than my um, foundation shade. That's a preference thing for me. I don't really want my eyes super bright underneath. I kind of more like them to be just a little bit brighter. Okay, just a little bit brighter. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we have this really nice contouring color. It's a really pretty color that we used on our lid. We're gonna also use it on our cheeks. We're gonna take our fluffy brush, get a little bit of that color, tap it off. Now for me, placement is a big deal because I have kind of a rounder face. I like to keep my contour kind of higher. So I start high and remember what I do is I go into that, that C shape, okay? The C shape, just like that. And I'll keep it high and I'm gonna do the same thing on this cheek. Kind of, I go in that, I don't do the three like that, I do the C. For me, it works out better and it gives my face like a better shape. You can go back in, you can build it up as much as you want. I'll put a little here and under here because, you know, to make that look not so saggy under there. And then I'll put a little bit on the sides, bring it down. Don't forget to blend, okay? Don't forget to blend it down into the neck. I'm gonna put a little bit more, okay? Work it up there. Now you can also, if you want, contour out your nose. That is completely up to you. My nose is a little tiniest bit crooked, but by placing some of the contour on my nose, I can make it look a little bit straighter and defined. Okay? See how when I do that, but I'm gonna blend it. I'm not gonna quite leave it so obvious. And I have a very small nose anyway, so there's not a lot that needs to be really done there, okay? But you see how it defines the bridge of my nose? Now, if I work it down toward the bulb of my nose, I can make my nose look even skinnier and, in, and even smaller. So I'm just gonna blend it out so it's not, you know, any harsh lines or anything like that, just like so. Now we're gonna go in, I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna go into the blush color, tap it in there. Now look it, we're using the same palette, which is amazing, right? And I'm gonna go right over the top of where I put my concealer, right over the top. I like a little extra blush. I don't know, I feel like it gives me a little bit of life to my face. Just like that, okay? A little bit here. I'll put a little on the end of my nose, just like so, okay? You can blend it out better if you want, but we're using the same brush because we're just keeping everything very light very light okay now we're going to use that highlighter shade which is breaking all over the place because i dropped it so i just have to do the best i can now i'm going to use a fan brush if you want just stick to the same brush whatever makes your life easy okay we're going to use this fan brush i'm going into the highlighter color i'm gonna to have to buy a new one of these i love this palette so much and i'm so sad that i dropped it now i like a highlight on my nose so i'll put it on my nose I love it on my Cupid's bow because I love how it makes my lips look. Okay, and I bring it just under that part too. And then 
right here on the highest part of my cheek. And we're gonna do this side right on the highest part of my cheek, like so, okay? And if you want to, you can take your eyeshadow brush, go back into the highlighter, put a little bit in the corner, and that's gonna open up your eye a little bit, make it look a little bit brighter and more awake, just like so, all right? And now their last step is going to be, we are going to, I have a couple more add-ons if it's your choice, if you wanna add them on. So the next thing I like to do is I really do like my eyelashes to have a little bit of curl to them, and I love our, our lash curler, so I always do use a little, even if I'm keeping my makeup really simple, I will, give my lashes like a little, a little what for, a little curl, okay? And a setting spray. So those are two add-ons that you could add on as well. And now we're gonna go in with the Zen Mascara. This is a beautiful mascara. I really like it. And we also have our brand new Limitless Mascara, which is a little bit pricier than this one, so that's why I've included this in the Fast Face Bundle, but you can absolutely upgrade to the new Limitless Mascara, and I'll show you uh, the difference here. So the Zen Mascara is really, really nice. Like I said, it was my first mascara with Pharmacy, and I fell in love with it, and I never thought that I would switch it out, but they keep coming out with new mascaras that are better and better and better. I mean, that's one coat of the Zen right there, it doesn't get any easier or any better than that. It's beautiful, but just wait until you see her cousin, Limitless. She's gorgeous. She will, I think, outperform any mascara. This has been definitely compared to the Better Than Sex mascara. People are raging about this mascara. Here's the beautiful wand. Now, it's brand new, so it might have a little bit of extra product, so I always like to just kind of wipe it off. And then let's just... This could be an upgrade. If you want to upgrade your Fast Face Bundle to include the Limitless. Oh yeah, hello. I'm going to show you guys. The length that this is giving my lashes is crazy. That is one coat of the Limitless. That's the Zen. That's the Limitless. You can definitely see that the Limitless is giving them more length. Wow. Just like that, look at that. This is a gorgeous mascara. So you could absolutely upgrade to the Limitless. That's completely your choice. I think what I'm gonna do is put a coat of the Limitless on this side too, just so they're even. And our last step is gonna be our lipstick. So for the lipstick, you can pick a liquid lipstick or you can pick just a gloss. It's completely up to you what you want to pick. And don't forget to do your bottom lashes. Do your bottom lashes. I just wanna go through that one more time so they look kinda of even. Wow, I love this mascara, it's beautiful. Okay, now, really, really pretty. For me, let's say I just wanna keep it really, really simple. I'm gonna use this number one, uh, Miss Sparkle Lip Gloss, it's a light sparkly pink, it's really pretty, has a little bit of, little flecks of sparkle in it. And we'll just, we'll just do that, kind of gives just a little sheen hint of color. Like so, or you can pick from one of our liquid lipsticks. The liquid lipsticks stay all day long, they're beautiful, they're creamy, they're not too drying. I absolutely love them. And then the last add-on that I would share with you if you wanna add on would be the setting spray. So the Time Locker setting spray is just really, really quick. It doesn't take much extra time and it's gonna help your makeup just really stay in place all day. And it feels really good too. So that's it, you guys. Um, I've showed you everything that's in the Fast Face Bundle and I really think it's an amazing deal. If you're interested in that and you're trying to revamp your makeup routine and you really just want it simple, I can totally streamline it for you and we can get you what you need. So it comes again, I'm gonna recap, it comes with the Face Trio, Face Trio palette, which I did my whole face. I did my eyes, everything, right? It comes with your choice of the BB or the CC cream, the Zen Mascara, unless you wanna upgrade, and 
the concealer, which I love, and a liquid lipstick or a gloss. I just put my gloss down and I have no idea where I set it. Or the gloss, okay? So it comes with those five products. You can absolutely customize and upgrade it if that's what you wanna do. You just have to let me know. So I think that looks pretty nice and pretty fresh-faced and simple. There is something beautiful about simplicity. So I really hope that you like it. I hope that you'll just try these products and see what I'm talking about. They're amazing. You will not be disappointed. If you're interested in that Fast Face Bundle, message me and I can hook you up with the link or I can order it for you and have it shipped right to your door. So thank you for watching. I love you guys. Have a great Sunday and I'll see you next time.